Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this lesson, you will learn how to set up your website on your own custom domain in three simple steps. I'll walk you through each step so that you know exactly how to set this up correctly. Step one is you need to get your domain. A domain is the URL address that a person types into a browser to visit your website. For this step, think what you would like to call your website. We will check if your domain is available in the next step. Step 2 involves setting up your hosting service. The hosting service is a server that stores your website online. There are two main criteria that you should keep in mind when selecting a hosting provider. Number 1. Your hosting has to be fast. Cheaper hosting providers save costs by operating your website on slower hardware. The consequence is your website takes longer to load. Number two, your hosting has to be reliable. By reliability, I am talking about keeping your website online. There's one service that I recommend, and that service is SiteGround. Let's set up your domain and your hosting service. Click the link below this video to get started. This will take you to SiteGround where you will buy your hosting. On this page, Scroll over Hosting and select WordPress Hosting. Here you have three different hosting options. If you are planning to have one domain only, so one website, then select the Startup option. It's the best for choosing to run your first website. If you plan to use multiple domains and try to run a couple of different websites, then you should select Grow Big because you can have multiple websites on your hosting package. In this tutorial, I will select Startup for one block. So I will click here, Get Plan. Now enter the domain that you thought of in step one. So I will select a .com domain. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just write sample Tom Westek and click Proceed. And if it goes to the next page, as it did here, it means that the domain, which I typed in, is available. So now it's a matter of filling in your contact information. Now you should arrive at the Purchase Information tab. And the first part here is the Hosting Services. So we selected the startup plan earlier and now over here the data center mine is set for Europe because it automatically detects my location and selects the data servers that are closest to me. So it should automatically detect your location but if you want to change your data servers just click here and then you can select four different locations. So choose the data center which is closest to you. This will ensure the fastest load times around your location. So I'm selecting hosting for 12 months. Scrolling down, we have the extra services. So I am registering a new domain here. Then we have domain privacy. If you want your details private, you should select this option. If you do not select this option, when you register your domain, your details will be available on the Whois website. This means that anyone can look up your website and find out that you are the owner of the domain. I usually don't select this because it's just a blog that you are starting out, but it depends on the type of website you are planning to build and it might be a good idea to select this one. Then we have the SG Site Scanner. This is a service that monitors your website and notifies you if your site has been hacked or injected with malicious code. I don't recommend this. If you have a developed website with over 20,000 visitors monthly, then you can consider this but for a new website, it's not required. Next, we scroll down. Make sure you confirm with the terms and conditions. If you would like to receive SiteGround news, then select this and then click Pay Now. Now your order will be processed. You should receive an email when everything is set up, your domain and your hosting. At that moment, you are ready to move on to step three. Step 3 involves installing WordPress. WordPress is a free web development platform and it's very intuitive to use. 
So head over to SiteGround and log into your account. Once logged in, go to My Account and then go to cPanel. In this screen, head over to Auto Installers and click on WordPress. Now click on Install. It will automatically select the latest version of WordPress for you. So choose your installation URL. So this is your domain. I created a sample domain for this tutorial. Make sure that HTTP is selected. HTTPS is more secure and it is required. And I will show you how to get a HTTPS certificate for your website after we install WordPress. So once this is set up, let's scroll down, give your website a name and a description. Do not worry, this isn't permanent. You can always change it later after you install WordPress. Then set up an admin username. Give your admin a password and then admin email. Do not use the one that is set up here. Use your personal email for this. This will be required just in case you have to reset the password for your WordPress login. Moving down, select your language. For me, it is English. Then we have a choice to install some plugins here. Limit login attempts. This one I will highlight. Basically, somebody who is not authorized tries to log into your website and enters the wrong password three times, it will lock the WordPress installation. And then you will get an email on your admin email and then you can reset the password. So it's just a safety feature. Classic editor, I'm not going to select this because I want to use the new WordPress dashboard. Then over here for WordPress starter, I'm going to unselect this. WordPress starter automatically installs some features to WordPress. I believe it is better if you learn how to install these features yourself. This way you will be able to add or remove WordPress functionality without any difficulties in the future. And I will show you in the next tutorial how to configure your WordPress installation. So with everything set up, click on install. And congratulations, WordPress has just been installed. If you look here, you have two URLs. The first one, this is the URL for your domain, for your website. So if you click on it, it opens a blank website. So at this moment, this is how your blog looks like. Do not worry, we will configure this. And then the second URL, this is the administrative URL. The difference is that at the end, you have here WP admin. So if we click on this, it will take us to a WordPress login screen. And here we are in WordPress. Congratulations, you have successfully installed your WordPress blog. At this moment, we have here not secure. So what we want is we want to make this secure. So here in your SiteGround dashboard, go to My Accounts. Then click on Go to cPanel. Now scroll down, go to security and then click on let's encrypt. Over here you have a section install new let's encrypt certificate. So select your domain. Here's the sample domain I used earlier and make sure this is selected. Let's encrypt SSL and click install. Successfully installed SSL. Okay, so it has been added to the queue. Which means we have to wait a couple of hours until the SSL certificate will be active. But that is all that is necessary to install your SSL. Okay, we're back on our website. So this is the non-secure HTTP version. Now let's change the URL and add HTTPS. And as you can see, you can see the padlock here, which means HTTPS is now active. 
which also means that to access WordPress, we just add WP admin to the end. Enter. And now we can log in. And now we are in our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, the padlock is here. So our website is secure. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.